Hello everybody and uh, welcome to another video on Godric TV. Uh, today we are showing the Force Master. Um, Force Master in my opinion is the most enjoyable range going. Um, not only can they do high damage whilst moving, they can also be very evasive, actually quite tanky. A lot of people expect this class to be very tanky but they're not. They are very, they are a very strong class and a very all rounded, a, a very well rounded class as well. Um, the main reason being their damage output, their CC abilities, their grip that they can get as well, which can push people away. Um, overall, they're a really, really strong class. Um, I know, as I said, I mean, I've, I think I've said this in every video. I know I keep saying it, but they are really good fun to play and um, a massive, massive force to be reckoned with. Um, I would, I would highly, highly recommend playing a Force Master. Um, so yeah, if you are um, interested in Force Masters, hopefully this guide will help you and kind of put you in the right direction of how you actually want to play this game um, in regards to range. Now range options are only at launch, we're only going to have the Summoner, um, the Summoner and the Force Master to be able to choose from because unfortunately we don't have the Warlock option yet. But I wanted to show you guys this just to uh, kind of put some feelers out there to see what you guys actually think about Force Masters and hopefully I'll explain it in a good way. Um, if I don't explain it in a good way then I apologise. Um, you can always slate me underneath in the comments. Um, I'm not the, I'm not, I'm, I'm not claiming to be any sort of professional uh, Force Master but hopefully this video can kind of give you an insight on what the class is about and why they are actually pretty damn strong. So we're going to move on to the video now. We're going to move it into the game. So um, as you can see from the get-go, uh, we can kind of see your kind of like abilities down here, your left button and your right mouse button. So basically, we're going to move into that first. Now this explanation um, is probably probably going to be quite difficult for me because I literally just finished a 24-hour stream on Twitch and I've got to the point where I am extremely, extremely tired. Um, but ultimately, I'm going to give it a shot and uh, we're going to go from there. So your left mouse button, right? Your left mouse button is, is, is quite simple. Everyone's got one. Um, but basically, what this does, it fires, it fires a blazing palm. Now with now with now now with the blazing palm, it's one of your main sources of damage. Your left right, um, your left mouse button and your right mouse button is your main source of damage. But basically, um, if you look at the bottom of the screen, you think, well, Force Master haven't got a lot of abilities. I will I will I will explain why and why it doesn't look like there is a lot. But you'll see another bar pop up once once I press the blazing palm. So, Blazing Palm itself, um, personally, I would always go down this side of the tree for PvE. Um, it is very good, as you can see, it, it increases attack speed, increases speed of projectiles. Not only does it do that, um, per stack of fire damage, so every time you hit an enemy with fire, it adds a dot effect on them. It can stack up to five times, and if you leave it, it self-destructs on its own. So, again, you're, doing, you're actually dealing even more damage. It's really good, trust me, it is amazing to say the least um, so if you want to go down the side of the tree I would definitely recommend it if you want to go down the middle uh, go down the middle tree it, it reduces your it, it kind of reduces your damage but what it does it burns enemies um, it burns it, it burned and um, burned enemies deal an additional 588 to 647 damage but you lose um, you lose the extra so you lose the ember on stack self-destruct lose the critical hit which, which gives you one flame spirit back from it so is it worth it mm. I wouldn't. I wouldn't personally go for it. You can go down this side of the tree if you want to. What this does, um, this is like an area of effect. Uh, the area effect is it's okay, but again, you're going to be gimping your damage a little bit. So therefore, I generally stick on this side of the tree. So we'll show you what this looks like. So your left mouse button right now. I'm probably going to be lagging. I'm I'm lagging really bad. I do apologise. My main source of decent internet. There we go. Right, left mouse button. So you can see my abilities here. Z. X, C, and V. I'm going to be explaining those. Unfortunately, I'm lagging so much and I can't really show you much else. Um, but you have your Z, X, um, C, and V, which I'm going to be going over now. So we'll start off with the Z. Now, your Z ability, um, the standard one, deals three consecutive fire damage to a maximum of 588 damage, 647 to enemies. So it's an AoE effect. It throws an AoE down. Um, it does pretty good damage. Um, you, you, I mean, you generally, do you, do you want to put points in this? It's your choice if you want to put points in this. It's totally your choice. If you want to, it is more damage. Um, also, inflicts ember stacks and burn last four seconds and ember stacks up to five times. So, it is good. I mean, yeah, I would. If you're going to be going down PvP, which is why I spec this, and also it's like a CC, basically, on a knockdown or stunned or, grog, or, or a grog, grog, groggy enemy, it launches them into the air. So when they launch into the air, it, say if you stun them, you can put that down, it will knock them up in the air, you'll deal um, a shed ton of damage, and you basically, they're completely out of the fight for a few seconds. So it's worth going down this route, personally. It's definitely worth going down this route. Also, um, 
in connection with Z, you have your tab. Now, where is it quickly? Okay, here we go. Heat wave. Now, heat wave it depends on how you want to spec this. Basically, if you go down this side of the tree, you're going to be do you're going to be do dealing a shed ton of damage. Um, because it's like an AOE ability. Like this AOE ability is pretty tidy, and I will show you it. As long as I can't, as long as I don't lag, lag to pieces, I can show you it quite well. So left mouse button. I am lagging. I've got 500 ms at the moment. So you can press tab. Boom. Does that damage? Just 5.2k. That is an AOE effect. It looks amazing. Um, it's relatively good for PVE. Would I use it? Not really. I'd go down this side of the tree. The main reason being, again, you, you can kind of see what it does. Um, deals a large quantity of damage. Knocked down. It also knocks them down. Also, on a stunned or groggy enemy, it launches them into the air. So it's another ability that can launch them into the air. Basically, what you generally do is, whilst you've got them stunned, um, whilst you've got them stunned, you can hit your tab, tab again, knocks them down, knocks them down. You can press your Z, and it will ping them up in the air. And it, yeah, it's. I mean, you you you'll kind of see it on the a lot of the professional videos. And one of the um, top streamers who actually plays is Jay Song, um, who's 2014 world, world champion with Force Master. Um, he does stream quite often, and uh, you'll see this ability quite often. You'll see him knock down, get hit, uh, he'll get hit up in the air, he'll drop back down, which is the Z, he'll drop back down onto the Z, and he'll ping back, ping back up in the air again, and he can basically uh, um, deal a shed ton of damage whilst that's doing that as well. So it is very strong, um, I would definitely recommend going this, even for PvE, I would also recommend it as well. So, um, we've done Z, we're going to move on to X now. So we're going over the fire abilities first. So the fire abilities down here, now, okay, we need to move away from this. That is really noisy. Okay, peace and quiet, peace and quiet. That's what we like, peace and quiet. <laughs> um, bear with me for one second. Right, this guy is really, really noisy. Please stop making so much noise, senpai. Okay. So, we move on to the next ability now. So, the next ability is your X. Um, it's a big fireball. In a nutshell, that's what it is. It's a big fireball. What this does, um, it, you, you can you can either go down this side of the road if you want to um, if you want to uh, cast it, but it does take 2.5 2.5 seconds to cast. But the cooldown is only 18 seconds. Now it's not too bad, but personally, do I want to stand still and cast up 2. seconds, 2.5 seconds? Nah, I don't. That's the last thing I want to do is cast up for 2.5 seconds. So what I do is I spec onto, onto the middle tree. Now what you do, what happens though, you do gimp your damage from 11,800 down to what I've got it on here is seven, oh, eight, eight thousand five hundred. It's not, it's not that much of a difference. But what it does, um, what it does, it increases projectile, um, it, it increases speed of your projectile. Um, but you can cast it whilst moving. In my opinion, that's more important. It's, yeah, it may, it may well be a forty-five second cooldown, but it doesn't really make a difference. And I'll show you what it does. So X, boom, eight point nine. As you can see there, it's a, uh, it's um, a forty-five second cooldown, but. It's, a, it's like it's more damage that you can throw at the enemy, and in PvP it works as well. And, it, and I definitely recommend going down that. If you are going to be doing PvP, you're not, you're not going to want to have the 2.5 second because uh, you will be in a horrid, horrid state of affairs when you think you can stand there and cast for 2.5 seconds. You will not be able to. You won't be able to get it off if you're going to cast it for 2.5 seconds. I would not recommend it. Um, yeah, so definitely stick with the military in my opinion. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay. Uh, we'll move on to the C. Where's the C at? Okay, let's change that. So your C ability um, is a flame lotus. Basically, what it does, it puts embers on the um, it puts embers onto the enemy. Um, it's it basically stacks over time and it basically can explode on them. It's like a dot. So it deals dot damage of 1,076, 1,187. Um, it's okay. I I generally don't put points into it. I just generally use it more than anything I don't I mean I just proc it I don't bother putting points into it you can um, you can put points into it it is good uh, but do I do it no I don't I know a lot of people do actually do it but I don't know it's not it's just not that I for, for one I'm only Hong Wen 5 so it, all the stuff I've got spec already I don't really have, have have the points to be able to do that but for the video I'll show you what it does um, so basically it just it's, it's, it's another dot damage um, and it's a third and it's the 30 second cooldown unfortunately if you if you want to go higher i.e. you want to put more damage onto it, you are going to be, it's going to be a bigger cooldown. So instead of an 18 second cooldown, it's going to be a 30 second cooldown. Um, and I'll show you what it does. It is good. It is good. C. So you can see, it's ticking damage, ticking damage, ticking damage, ticking damage, ticking damage. It's okay, you know? Like, it's not, 
that damage is not going to revolutionize the force master um, it's not incredible so in my opinion it's not worth putting points into there's more there's more important things i for, for survivability and stuff that you want to spend your points on so i wouldn't really worry about it um but yeah i mean it's extra damage it's not going to hurt slapping that on at the same time so it's worth doing next ability um you have the um you have meteor shower now meteor shower uh well, what it's called at first is a blazing wall. Now, I'll show you blazing wall first. Now, blazing wall, blazing wall. Mainly people use this for PvP. Um, that's the only time you'll actually use blazing wall is PvP. So when you pick someone up in a grip, they're in front of you. You lay the fire on the floor, and you're basically holding them over the fire and burning them. Looks awesome, and it also does damage to them as well. So this is what it does. Puts fire down. Burning, 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 burning. So it's pretty good. I mean, the cooldown's quite the cool, uh, the cooldown's quite harsh. I mean, what it's it, it's a bit too high in my opinion. But again, it's more damage that you that you're going to be dealing in PvP, and it gives you a breather if you're holding and burning them. It gives you a breather while your other stuff is coming off cooldown and getting ready to ba to basically unleash them again. Um, if you go down this side of the tree, which is meter shower, if you go down this side of the me uh, from for meter tree, this is basically for AOE damage. Um, and general, general awesomeness really. It looks amazing and it does a shit, um, um, a shit ton of damage. Um, so I'll show you that as well. So, boom, meter shower. Looks really good. High damage, very powerful. Um, I generally use that in PvE when I'm in groups and parties and also solo, co um, solo combat. The main reason why I use that um, is because the main reason why I use that is because that you can just hit it. You don't have to worry about it. You literally just put that down and just keep raining damage with your, with your left mouse button, right mouse button, and keep just shedding a, sh a shit ton of damage on them. Basically, um, it's it's worth using. It's worth it's it's it's, it's, de it's definitely worth worth going down um, if you're doing P PVE content. If you're doing PVP, then you're more than welcome to go down fall down here. It's your choice if you want to. Um, it is worth going down this side of the tree if you are looking to, uh, to kind of maximise your damage, um, especially when it comes to PvP, because basically you hold them over the fire and it burns them to a crisp. It's very good. Next ability, um, we're going to move on to the top uh, the top abilities here, and, I, and, I, and I'll kind of explain why. Before I go on to number one, I'm going to explain two and three first. So two itself, um, a lot of people use this for PvP. They go down this side of the tree for PvP. Um, sorry, this side of the tree, so into the middle tree, because what it does, it gives you a groggy. Um, unfortunately, it's not instant. It does give you an 18 second cooldown, but what it does, it gives you a groggy, which means you can stun them, you can knock them up in the air, um, you can basically do kind of good stuff like that, and it is really strong. If you want to go down this side of the tree, I generally use that for AoE. AoE play on your own. Um, I wouldn't use this for single target combat. It's not strong enough for single target combat. Um, because it's a, it's generally like an AOE, um, and it's like a certain radius that you can actually use it in. So I'll show you the radius itself. So if we stand in front of a mob, let me respect this. It does look awesome. So you press two, boom, 5.8k damage. You, when you can spam it, it's your choice, but it costs free cheer time. It's way too expensive to keep spamming it like that. It's not worth it. And if you're to say from this far away, it will not reach. It will not reach at all. Um, the radius is only up to 10 meters, so it's not long enough. It's really not long enough. The reason why I go down this route for myself for PVE is Flame Cannon. Now, Flame Cannon is single target damage. It's strong. It, there is no, there is no, you don't have to line up or anything. It literally targets the mob and it does damage. So you can see what it does. Flame Cannon. Boom. 9k. So, you can see, it's, in, in, in my personal opinion, it's, it's a lot stronger. A hell of a lot stronger for PVE. So if you're doing AOE, this side of the tree. Sorry, yeah, if you're doing AOE, this side of the tree, PVP, this tree, and the third one um, is for single target. Personally, I haven't, I've never used this, so I'll show you what this is, guys. I'll, I'll show you what this is like. I have, I've actually never used this. Okay, to me, that seems very weird. I don't, I don't see many people use this ability. Uh, the damage itself doesn't seem very really good. I'm going to go away from that because it makes me feel a bit queasy. It's not good. Um, okay, next ability number three. Now, the reason why I'm doing two and three before one, I'm, I'm going to kind of, kind of I'm, I will kind of explain it. Um, but basically, if you go down this side of the tree, um, what it does, it freezes them, it holds them in place for five seconds. So if you freeze a mob, see, I'll show you the ability. If you freeze a mob and they're stuck in the frozen part, you can move behind them. They can't move from that unless they use tab or SS. So if they've used the SS before, you can freeze them, hold them in one place, and good drills, you will un um, unleash damage on them. The reason why a lot of people use this one for PvP, 
ice ice cannon. What it does, it frees them in place, stuns them for two seconds, and it's amazing. Like everyone uses this for PvP. It's seriously, seriously strong. But obviously, what it does, it fetches. Um, well, actually, they're all 18 second cooldown. But I would, I would definitely recommend this if you're doing single target play and also PvP. Because as I said, the stun's worth it and the five second freeze. The reason why I left one until the end is because of this. So. If an enemy is frozen, if an enemy is frozen, you can stun them. So every time they get frozen, so if you do your left, right, le um, left mouse button, right mouse button, left button, right mouse button, and you freeze them in place, you can hit one when they're stunned. Uh, sorry, you can hit one when they're frozen, and it gives you a one second stun. If you can do, if you can basically juggle it, so left button, um, sorry, left mouse button, right mouse button, one, left button, right mouse button, one whilst they're frozen it deals so much damage and also it freezes them and it also stuns them so you can literally do that for like a quite a long period of time when it does that they they they, they basically get so low on that like they they you could actually probably take 50 percent hp by perma stunning them um you probably see jay sung doing it it's it's really freaking awesome really strong um, but again, you'll only go down this side of the tree if you're doing PvP. As I said on there, look, you can see it on a frozen enemy, stuns for one second after five, after five, um, after you get a five minute knockback. So it's it's really good, like seriously, it's amazing. If you're going to be doing PvE content, if you're going to be doing like solo play or anything like that, or group dungeons, you're going to want to go down the shot cannon road. The main reason being, um, it's high damage. Like you can see there, it's insane damage. So. Not only like that deals 376, it's not meant to be mainly for damage because it's meant to be for the stun. But if you use this one, it's mainly for the damage. So if you throw if if you freeze an enemy as well, it nearly does another 4k damage on top of your original damage. So it's worth doing. It is incredibly, incredibly, incredibly strong. You want to go down this side of the road. Hope that explained it. Why you would use when a target is frozen, you, you can basically tell when they're frozen because their feet will be like in like encased in frost there. So when they're frozen like that, you can you then know that you can hit your one when they're stunned and it will stun them for one second and it knocks them back. You can do that over and over and over. If you have a native ping, you can do it even faster and it looks incredible. With a native ping, it does look the dog's bollocks. It's really good. So we've explained the fire. We've explained we've explained phantom grip really. Uh, phantom grip you can you can push people away, you can slam them on the ground, um, you can slam them on the ground also to regain chi. Um, and you can hold people over fire and burn their souls basically um, it's that is very useful when you're in a sick situation and they're really close to you it's only an eight it's only an 18 second cooldown so it's not that long either okay there's one more fire ability i've got to explain and this is fire fury so basically when you crit when you crit your left mouse button you can you can then use fire fury what fire fury does um, it deals damage over time, but whilst you deal damage over time, it will like fire. It will um, throw fire like that. It will be like a. I mean, you can use it whilst casting, but it will bring up like uh, like an action bar, and it will take chunks off each time. So it tells you how long that you've got left on it. Uh, with this, um, it's quite self-explanatory. Really, uh, it creates one flame spirit. Um, I will explain flame spirits and ice spirits in one second as well because I forgot to do that. I can map it. Um, so what it does, it deals uh, damage over time, and it burns enemies. If you put three points into it, if you want to go down to the to, to, to the bottom, it is really good. I mean, if you want to get the Hongmin, it is really good. On critical, five five times can be used again. So if you crit five times with it, it can be used again. It's really strong. So what it does, left mouse button. I've got to wait for a crit first. Okay, please crit, senpai. Okay, crit. F. There we go. That's what it does. It goes bang, 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 bang. A lot of damage. Um you want to, I mean, it is really strong. What it used to do, it used to give you a percentage chance that you used to be able to regen your chi and your, your, your focus bar, That, but, they've, but they have actually removed that now, so you can't do that anymore. And that, and that has been removed for NA and EU as well, so unfortunately we can't have that. Um, in regards to your flame spirit, so you can see these, so you can see these little, um, you can see these uh, red orbs flying around me. They're called flame spirits, right? So you get flame spirits by critting. So when I crit with my left, my left, with my left button and my right mouse button, you can see now I've got all these orbs around me. Now, this is quite important. This is when you can use your twin dragons, okay? So when you get three, three flame spirits and a frost spirit stacks each, you can then use this ability. Now this ability, you can use it. I mean, it is a cast. It's a 1.5 second cast, but it's awesome. It does a lot of damage, right? But if you don't want to go down this side of the tree where you have to cast it, 
again like look three points in that look how much damage that does it deals like 10k damage right there it's insane if you want to if you want to have it instant oh hold on i'm getting confused at where i am right now okay yeah there we go so this is 1.5 second cast if you want to go down that go down this side of the tree it's a lot less damage but it freezes them and also it's instant so you don't have to cast with it you don't have to stand there and cast with it if you're doing pve content again this side of the tree if you're doing pvp this side of the tree that's what i generally do a lot of people don't use it for pvp but i found it to be very useful because again it gives you another five second freeze so that means that you can get away from your position so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh i'm going to basically rack up the i'm going to rack up my flame orbs and ice orbs um and then we can uh we can do that we can do that so if you look at the bottom of the screen you can see your ice Let me, let me rack it up quickly. Still trying to get it all up. Not critting enough at the moment, unfortunately. Doesn't help when I'm lagging either. Really does not help when I'm lagging. So we've got three of three now. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, there we go. Twin dragons. Well, booyah. 43,000 damage. Um, the reason why it's quite high is because my gear is... I mean, my weapon's pretty damn strong. Um, it's not always that strong. It's not always that overpowered. But just to show you what it does, if you stack three of three, you can cast that and it deals a shed ton of damage. We will get You will get this at level 45. You won't get this any earlier. Um, but it's a very strong ability. So the, fi uh, the Fire Fury is very much the same um, as the Frost Fury. So when you crit with your right mouse button, you, you can then use your uh, fr Frost Fury. Now, what the Frost one does, it regens your Chi back. So every time you do an attack, it recovers your Chi, uh, your focus. So you want to make sure... You definitely want to make sure um, that you actually use it. Um, you make sure you want to use your F because if you don't, then you're going to be struggling with chi, and this is the best way to regen your chi. Um, you can, you actually can go down different side of things as well. Chill ignores defense, so basically you can put six, put, so you can put six seconds on them for chill. You want to go down this side if you PVP because if you're if you're chilling them, that means they're, they're going to be running a lot slower towards you, and that's just going to help you so much. If you want to go down this side of the tree, this is kind of like tankyish. Personally, stay away from that. There's no point generally. This tree, PVE. This tree for PVP. It's very good. Dragon Storm. So basically, when an enemy's knocked down on the ground, you have another ability. The thing is with Force Masters. Uh, the thing is with Force Masters, right? They have so many abilities. I'm hope I'm, I'm hope I'm actually explaining this quite well. If I'm not, I apologise. But when an enemy is knocked down, or grappled, or airborne, you can cast Dragon Storm. What Dragon Storm does, it hits twice, it hits twice in quick succession, and it does damage. It's okay, the damage isn't mind-blowing, it's not going to freaking rev 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 revolutionize your overall damage. It's okay, it's not It's not the be-all and end-all. It's not the be-all and end-all. Apologies, I've just realised what I've just done as well. I've just skipped the right mouse button explanation. We've gone over fire completely, um, but I missed the, the start of the ice. So the start of the ice, what this does, um, you can kind of see there, it deals damage and it chills them. Um, it also increases the speed of projectiles. Uh, it's 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 what you do. It's what you use. You left you you use your left mouse button and your right mouse button. But the damage with your right right mouse right mouse button costs chi. If you look at your left mouse button, your left mouse button doesn't cost anything. It gives you one recovery. So if you've got no chi, you're like, fuck, I need to get my chi back. You want to use your left mouse button. Because your right, as you can see, the damage difference as well. 1,109, your right mouse button does 3,736. Uh, 3, so the difference, the difference of the damage is insane, but obviously your right mouse button costs two chi. The reason why it costs two chi is because... Um, it does a shed ton more damage and also slows slows the enemy, increases attack speed, all that good stuff. So you, that's the reason why. Um, that's the reason why it costs so much. Okay, we're going to be moving on to we're going to be moving on to the. Um, I mean, sorry, I forgot I forgot to go over this as well. You can go down this side of the tree. Basically, it reduces the it reduces your chi cost down from two to one. It's your choice. You want to go to this, but it obviously does lower the damage. Um, also, it, it reduces. Um, you don't get the increased attack speed and. Um, doesn't give you one frost orbit either so personally i go down this side of the tree uh, for pvp and pve i might be wrong if i apologize slap me but i would go down this side of the tree personally that's what i've done for pvp and pve ever since i started playing force master i did try this but definitely put this side of the tree okay i think this one might well actually be for pvp but i apologize if i'm wrong it might well be the left side oh dear okay so we're going to go over the ice abilities now so the ice abilities will be z x c and v so 
right mouse button again. So we have Z, X, C, and V. I show so these, these, so these abilities right now are generally your defensive abilities. They're your get away, get out of jail free card kind of abilities. And and, and I will try and go through them and, and explain them for you. So first of all, your Z is um, a frost explosion. What this does, it does damage and it reduces their defense and also it basically slows them down. It puts them in ice, uh, it doesn't put them in ice, it just slows them down. You can't do this and then hit one, it's not gonna freeze them. It's not gonna put them in a trap, okay? It's not gonna put them in a trap, I'll be honest with you. It's not gonna do it. Um, if you go down this side of the tree, it's your choice, it does relatively good damage, but I, yeah, personally, it's instant damage. Like, it's instant damage, it's 30 second cooldown, it's worth it. But I like using this ability, the main reason being it looks pretty, it looks cool, um, and I'll kind of show you. Basically it's damage over time, so if you've got like a massive um, group of mobs around you, you can drop that and it does, a, um, it does AOE damage over time. So I'll put points into this and show you it. So we'll do right mouse button, so it brings up the bottom bar again. Then we can hit Z, damage over time. I mean, the damage isn't great, like it's okay, it's relatively good, but when you do that, with a V at the same time, with other AOE, it, it's like... The numbers, numbers galore. It does look beautiful. It's, it's really, it's really is worth it. Really, really, really is strong. So, if you want to go down the PvP side of the route, you would use Frostburst. The main reason being, it makes you airborne and, and vulnerable to enemy attacks. So, I'll show you what it does. Now, you would use this for PvP. It's like a get out of jail free card again. So, you right mouse button, hit Z. Not only will it knock you in the air, it freezes this guy here as well. When it freezes him, it means it's giving you time for your cooldowns to reset. It's worth using. Um, you, would def you, you, you definitely want to use that for PvP. You definitely, definitely, definitely want to go down the side of the tree. As you can see, if you put more, if it's, a, it's, a, it's a 30 second cooldown. If you want to put more, more points into it, on removing Frost Prison, 6 second chill. Um, but number of enemy hits recovers one chi. So not only do, if you do it for like AoE, it can recover chi for you as well. It's very strong. Definitely, definitely recommend it using. And the dog's barking outside. I want to punch it in the face. So if you can hear the dog barking, I don't know whose dog that is, but that's really annoying. I apologise. Okay, ne next ability we're going to move on to is your X. X ability. X ability is really cool. Boom. It's like a. It's the same as the X on the frost. It really is the same as the X on the frost. So if you go to your X, it's the same as the X. Sorry, it's the same one as the fire one, but deals less damage. If a target is frozen, it would deal a lot more damage. So instead of using, instead of hitting your one, instead of hitting your one ability. You would generally, um, in, so if they're frosted, so if they're in frost like that, instead of using your one to stun them, you would throw an X at them, and it would deal, uh, and it would deal like double the damage. So in, it would deal 3,600, but then it would deal another 3,300 if they're frozen. So you want to make sure that you use that um, if you're generally using PV and stuff. If you're using PVP, I'd recommend stun every day of the week. You need, you, 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 you kind of need your stuns. You can put, put, you can actually put more points into this. It's your choice whether you want to or not. Personally. Um, there's more important skills that you want to put your points into. Um, a lot of people go down this side of the road for PvP. Now this this right here is literally beautiful. I'm not even joking you. I love this ability. It's probably just me. I love it. It's like a damage over time. Pe people use this one in PvP because you can do it whilst casting. It does, deals relatively good damage. Um, and again, it also slows them down and disables offensive defense um, skills for four seconds. So, right mouse button. X. So... It's good. It's like instant damage. Like it, it, it kind of does what it says on the tin. It's really strong. I've, I see the majority of people using this for PvP over anything else. Um, definitely, definitely go down this side of the tree. In my opinion, it is worth doing. Okay. So your next ability. A lot of people will ask you to do this. This is called Divine Barrier. So you press your C. This barrier here. This barrier stops all projectiles coming inside. So if if you're doing end game content, dungeons, etc or doing um, PvP, um, this is important to use, and I'll kind of explain it. Right, you wanna put points in this if you're doing PvE. The main reason being is that you can drop it, it recovers HP, resists any, um, resists any range attack status, effects up to 10, 15 seconds, so it's even longer resisting. Um, not only that, uh, increases resistance and decreases damage taken by allies, it keeps um, keeps position when the player moves. So, if I was to put three points in this, I could, because if you use it with no points, you have to literally sit there with it. You literally have to sit there with it and cast it. So, whilst you're doing that, you're not doing damage for 15 seconds. So, if you put three points into this, you can put it down and still do damage whilst you're sitting in it. 
really strong honestly really 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 strong um and also there will you would you have to like force masters do get asked to use this a lot in content when it gets to 45 content we will be asked to use this a lot um, and we will need to use this uh, once the game is released because there's a few bosses in there that fire projectiles and there's no other way that, they, that you can get around with them without being hit and, unless you drop a divine barrier or kind of other classes abilities but generally the, you, you will get asked to do that next ability is again is another ability which is like a defensive skill is your V now this is frost sheath um, what a frost sheath does uh, sorry frost prison that's frost sheath frost prison basically what it does is put them is freezes the enemy for eight seconds uh, so we'll learn this I don't think we can do this on this mob but we'll give it a go so it frees them for that for, for, so if that was a normal person what that would do that will basically freeze them it's kind of like how to explain it it's kind of like World of Warcraft where World of Warcraft used to polymorph people but with this you have a frost prison it's a 1.5 second cast it doesn't take a long time it's only for eight seconds so basically if, if you've got two people coming towards you you can frost prison one and then just focus all your efforts onto the opposition and then kill and then basically kill, kill the opposition if you want to go down um, if you want to go down here you can it, it does mm, it does add like a chill effect personally I wouldn't bother about putting extra points in there it's not really worth it it's not that good in my opinion it's not very really good don't hate if you go if you're gonna be doing PvP you want to go down this side of the tree the reason being you can kind of see what it does there really I sheath for three seconds so what that does if an enemy hits you whilst this thing's above you so if I press it if an enemy hits you whilst this is above you you can see this little orb thing on my head that's how long it lasts if an enemy hits you during that time it will make you it will basically turn you into ice when you turn into ice um, it gives you like a bit of a breather basically it's, it's, it's worth putting points into it. Also, if you go down to the third one, it increases your HP. So it is worth doing. Um, it applies to allies and cells. So if you, if you say, for instance, if a tank's getting rinsed, he's like, fuck, use your frost sheath, use your frost sheath, or help me out or whatever, you, you uh, use your V. The V applies to everyone around you. So if, if everyone gets hit, if everyone takes a massive AoE, so like some bosses do a massive AoE hits that hits everyone. If you do that at the right time, uh, that will make everyone frost. Um, that will make everyone frost sheath, and no one will take any damage. It's worth doing. Trust me, it's worth putting points into, especially for P for uh, PVE and PVP. This side of the tree, yeah. Generally, if you're going to be doing solo solo PVP against multiple people, that's the only time I'd use that. Wouldn't use it any other time. Okay, so we've explained fire. So fire, you have this tab. The frost version uh, is called frost armor. Now this is really good. What this does is this puts you in frost. This puts you in like an uh, like kind of like a an ice shield, so you can't be attacked or damaged. It recovers 30 percent, um, 30 to 100, uh, 30 to 10 percent HP. If you were to put more points into it, first I don't even know why I went down this road. Okay, why I went down that road? Okay, so the reason why I've <laughs> Jesus Christ, the reason why I've gone down this side of the road basically is predominantly for PVP and PVE. It, it kind of works with both. So basically. Um, if you use your if you use your frost armor, so you're stuck in frost armor, you gain 30% HP, and if enemies attack you, you gain an additional if, um, three times. You get 5% HP each time. So if they hit you three times, you gain an additional 15% HP on top of that. So you gain 45%. It's worth doing. So if I do that, hit tab. It's put me in this frost for it's put me in this frost now for 10 seconds. So if, if people are actually hitting me. If people are actually hitting me whilst I'm in this, all that's going to do is regen my HP three times. As soon as you hit that 45% HP cap, you can't you can't get any more HP. But this is this is what makes Force Masters so strong, man. They've got they've like people say, oh, no class have healing. They have healing. Summoners and this class have healing. You can get your HP back when you're in the sticky situation, especially in PvP. This is ideal. This is fundamental. This is this is awesome. Seriously, you're going to want to spec this for PvP. Trust me, definitely. Next ability, deception. Again, this is your uh, this is another tab. So basically, when you're stunned, groggy, downed, it's like another trinket. You can use it, and it gets you out of sticky situations. Pretty much it. Same in every class. Everyone's got a tab. Um, next bit is I forgot to explain Q and E basically as well. So Q and E. So you got your Q. Teleports you around them. It's like a they, this class is evasion, right? This is the, the, this class is based on evasion. It's not based on tank, and it's based on evasion. So you have your Q and you have your E as well. You can see that's Q. Oh, sorry, that sorry that was E. And we could do E in a sec. Oh, we can do Q in a second. So when 
you'll see like targets come up on the screen. You'll see, you'll see like a boss ready to do like a like a big damage dealing ability. And when it says press space, don't press space. Do not freaking press space. What you want to do instead of pressing space because it's unreliable, you want to hit Q E or S S. So when a mob does like a big AOE ability, you'll see a target come on the screen. Screen that will tell you to press space. What you want to do is either press Q E or S S. What that does, it makes you resist all damage. So S S, resist damage. Um, Q will make you resist damage and E would also make you resist damage as well. So you want to make sure that you use that. Obviously they have cooldowns. The cooldowns don't last forever. Um, 10 seconds for back step um, and then 10, 10 seconds uh, for your frost step and your flame step. They're very useful in PvE and PvE. The main reason being in PvP and PvE, if you're near someone and you're getting rained on, you can use your Q and you can see it gives you that distance. It gives you that distance between you that you need. Then you can unload more damage on him you can just go completely ham and just all that good kind of good stuff you can yeah like you can literally wreck them with damage um, yeah very strong um force master happens to be one of my favorite range. well it is my favorite range class the main reason being um they're just they're just like extremely fun to play they're so versatile in what they do um oh, they do a shed ton of damage um and they take quite a bit of skill as well um, that's why I'm still learning the class. I'm not. I'm not that au fait with Force Master at the moment. But what I've played a Force Master. I mean, it's level 50, Hong Wen Five. Even though I'm this level, I still don't know. I still don't know everything about Force Master. They're a very fun class, guys. Honestly, very, very, very fun class. So we've explained um, your left mouse button, all your fire skills, every single fire, every single fire ability, and also we've explained uh, the right mouse button, all the frost abilities, and what they do as well. Now, that's generally it. Um, I've explained the evasion mechanics and what you do with that um, and your survivability techniques. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully you guys have actually enjoyed that video. Um, I appreciate all you guys watching. Um, I am gonna, There is a few more guys that I need to make, but they will be coming out in due course. I'm not going to be doing them straight away. Uh, busy at work, 60 hours a week. I can't do it, unfortunately. But I've done two guys for the, for, for, for the day anyway, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this guide. Um, if you guys do have any more questions, queries, or anything, please leave your comments below. If you enjoyed uh, the chat, uh, if you enjoyed the uh, video, please don't forget to follow me on YouTube. If you want to see when I'm going to be making more or um, coming online um, on Twitch, uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter and Twitch. All the details are linked below. Um, thank you much, guys. Um, thank you much, guys, for watching again. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.